While all the eyes here in Moscow are focused on the upcoming presidential election, I thought this week we'd take a bit of a sideways look at one of the other issues that's happening in Russia right now. And the big news in sports was that um, a football team from the Caucasus called Ange Angie Makachkala has signed a superstar manager in the form of Gus Hiddink, the uh, Dutchman who was a former manager of the Russian football team and led them to the semi-finals of the European Championships in 2008. Now where does a team like Angie Makachkala get the money to bring in a superstar coach? Well, it's from their billionaire owner, Suleiman Karimov. But what's really going on here? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm of the old school, uh, let's say, of uh, football supporter who prefers to see their local team peopled by local players and local coaches, a bit like the, let's say, the Bill Shankly approach from Liverpool or the Brian Clough approach in Derby at Notts Forest. Build up the team from your uh, local community and have it actually putting back something back into that community. So I don't really see what this uh, superstar move is all about. There's Gus Hüdink, he's about 60 years old. Is this the final job of his managerial career? There's, they're giving him a salary of $15 million. They're already splashing out lots of money on superstar players such as Samuel Eto'o. But really, where does it benefit the local community in Makhachkala, in Dagestan, uh, which is one of the most desperately poor regions of Russia, there in the Caucasus? So, to me, it looks like something which won't really last. And we have to say, you know, the money will be probably much better spent either going into local sports for young people or just into the local community, building factories, um, providing jobs for people, bringing that area out of its uh, social deprivation. This is Tim Wall for the Moscow News with this week's video blog.